हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू टू ई पी जी पाठशाला माई नेम इज डॉक्टर अमित कटोच एंड आई एम वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन यूनिवर्सिटी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ होटल एंड टूरिज्म मैनेजमेंट ऑफ पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी डेयर स्टूडेंट्स आई वुड बी टेकिंग द मॉड्यूल ऑन इशूज एंड चैलेंजेस फेस बाय एयरलाइन कार्गो ऑपरेशंस under the paper cargo operations and management after completing this module students will be able to know about issues and challenges faced by airline cargo operations position of indian aviation industry problems faced by indian aviation industry and opportunities in Indian aviation sector airline cargo operations are important commercial segment of airline business that targets supply or transportation of goods overseas there are numerous airlines that handle the workload of commercial cargo operations across the world since years air after air new airlines are adding to the list of cargo service providers there are numerous issues related to airline cargo operations across the world the airline cargo operations are also facing certain problems that can't be neglected the position of indian aviation industry is also important as there are numerous government and non government airlines that operate within the country as well as across the world the indian aviation industry is also facing many problems in modern time the module all together highlights issues and challenges faced by the airline cargo operations now i will discuss about issues and challenges faced by airline cargo operations there are numerous issues and problems that are faced by global airlines cargo operation high and increasing fuel prices rising fuel prices is one of the prime challenges that air cargo industry is facing on an average the cost of 1 gallon of fuel used in jet engine has doubled from 75 cents in 2001 to 2.01 dollar in 2006 fuel represents approximately 22% of direct operating costs for air cargo companies today for most wide body planes fuel now represents a greater percentage of total operating costs us airlines require about 1.27 million barrel or jet fuel per day at 42 gallons per barrel this translates to 19.5 billion gallons per year at current rates of consumption every penny increase in the price of 1 gallon of jet fuel results in an additional 195 million dollar in annual operating expenses for the industry with little decline in in prospects this year iata estimates the cost of fuel even with an average of 45% hedged will rise 24 billion dollar to 115 billion dollar the estimates reveal that higher yields will recover only 46% of this cost increase fuel price hikes are being driven by a number of factors increased demand from india china and the third world insufficient refining capacity in the western hemisphere which means fuel must be shipped from greater distances political instability in the middle east and a lack of competition among fuel providers with jet fuel the price 
is the price, explains Layard. An A-liner can't just pull up to a different pump if the price at one is too high. Carriers usually have only one or two choices of fuel, suppliers at an airport. Every air cargo service provider has instituted surcharges to cover fuel price hikes. The surcharge on major traffic lanes can be 30% of the total air freight rate. But fuel surcharges don't cover the full increase, notes Chuck Cocky, Vice President Global Air Freight Services for UPS Supply Chain Solutions. Airplanes are the least efficient users of fossil fuel, Layard says. If supply shortages warrant rationing or if jet fuel prices rise to $3.50 per gallon, then we would see demand destruction. The cost of air freight would increase 100% and companies would shift their cargo to boats. Threats to security Security threat is one of the most challenging aspects of airline cargo operations. Globally, a plot to simultaneously blow up as many as 10 US bound passengers jets with liquid explosives hidden in carry-on luggage was thwarted with the arrest of 24 suspects in the United Kingdom on August 10, 2006. British and American authorities immediately instituted tough new passenger security measures. On August 16, in response to the terrorist plot, Rapid Marke a member of the House Homeland Security Committee urged Homeland Security Secretary Michael Shertoff to institute 100% inspection of all cargo on passenger planes and inspection of container ship cargo before it sets sail for US ports. Marke recommended that no cargo that cannot be inspected using existing explosive detection methods be allowed on passenger planes. Shipper groups oppose 100% cargo inspection as does the Transportation Security Administration. A regulatory framework designed to ensure inspection of every piece of cargo transported via air, assuming that it would even be implemented, would place an impossible burden on air commerce, warns the National Industrial Transportation League, one of the nation's oldest shipper organizations. The cost of a 100% inspection regime estimated at $650 million in the first year does not justify any incremental benefits that such a program might achieve over the current risk-based approach. The League says the United States has instituted a draconian security regime since the September 11 terrorist attacks, says Layard. There is no question that it is effective in light of recent events and the prospect of future terrorist threats. However, most industry observers believe the air cargo security regime will tighten further. We have every expectation that security protocols will get Tougher, says Neil Shah, Vice President, Sales and Marketing, United Airlines Cargo. Zubrod of Boos, Alan agrees. At some point, he says, we will have to implement tighter air cargo security. This increased security will be event driven. All it will take is 
one event and we will see the cargo equivalent of the tighter passenger restrictions that occurred following the London terrorist scare. Although change in security regulations will affect operations and increase costs for all air cargo, they pose a particular threat to belly capacity according to David Hoppen, Managing Director of Merge Global Inc., a Washington DC consulting firm. Belly capacity accounts for roughly half of global intercontinental airlift capacity. It is a big slice of the pie, especially in the transatlantic market, Hopin says. Because of terrorism, there is a good chance that the cost of belly lift will increase dramatically or even be banned outright, he notes. An attack on an airliner carrying belly cargo would destroy air freight's value proposition. If belly lift gets more expensive because of the high cost of screening or it goes away by flat, air freight cost will rise, Hopin adds. Belly capacity tends to be more aggressively priced than freighter capacity. The relative price of air freight will increase regardless of the carrier. If carriers are required to screen more cargo, we are prepared to do it, says Shah. But it's one more issue that could force products to move by ocean. If extra screening adds time, it cuts the differential between ocean and air. Some industry observers believe any increase in air cargo security requirements will favor the integrators over the airlines. Integrators such as FedEx and UPS have custodial control of the freight from its origin, which is the essential ingredient, says Zubrod. Such control is difficult for forwarders who contract with a local pickup delivery company to take the freight to the airport and put it on a third party plane. That's a porous chain of custody. New inventory policies. New inventory policies are creating numerous concerns at it, numerous concerns as it provides new guidelines to handle cargo. With supply chain risk and the potential for disruptions growing, companies are questioning the wisdom of maintaining lean inventories. Retailers and manufacturers are now deciding to carry more safety stock to cover demand and avoid emergency air freight. This is a seminal change in supply chain structures worldwide. Five years ago, every company was trying to squeeze as much inventory out of the supply chain as possible. But companies that operate with low inventories and run into supply chain problems spend a lot on air freight. They now are trying to rein in those large bills. Businesses are also beginning to question the wisdom of offshoring all production to China. While China may offer the minimum manufacturing cost per unit, many companies have been surprised by hidden supply chain costs, higher transport costs as a result of increased air freight and larger safety stocks to cover the additional time it takes to move goods from the China factory to the Ohio DC, Hopin notes. Spanish clothing retailer Zara, for example, sources a significant amount of production at parent company Inditex 
factories located largely in Europe and neighboring countries, Zara decided to handle its production in Spain and elsewhere in Europe because even though that costs more than Asian production, the company changes merchandise every two weeks and speed to market is a critical competitive advantage, says Zubrod. Zara wants a two-week order cycle time, not 45 days. These locally produced goods are trucked to market, not flown. Shifting mode. Shifting mode of various clients to other alternative modes of transportation has increased the problems of airlines, cargo operations. Shippers are increasingly optimizing supply chains to rely on cheaper ground and ocean shipments supplemented by occasional air express shipments. Firms are shifting towards cheap assemblers of spare parts in order to avoid the expenses to a large extent. The use of truck ocean accelerated truck services as an alternative are used as part of shifting mode. China has introduced ocean guaranteed as new premium cargo service of low cost. The program provides seaport to door guaranteed service from Hong Kong, Shanghai and Shenzhen to all US destinations served by Conway Freight via Los Angeles as the US port of call for customs and clearance and deconsolidation. Most customers source some aspect of their business in China. They operate long supply chains and increasing import volumes yet remain under pressure to accelerate product through their domestic distribution networks as cost efficiently as possible. A service that takes 10 to 20 days of variability out of the supply chain has a huge effect on inventory levels, cycle times and product availability. Air freight has always benefited from unforeseen supply chain problems. Airborne freight of China has been upgraded from ocean because of an emergency. The Conway or APL service, however, creates a threat to air freight. If it works as promised, shippers may not need air freight as much. Reliable time definite trucking has devastated the domestic air freight market and the same may happen in the trans-Pacific trade. A 30 to 45 day ocean solution and a 5 to 6 day air solution create a big opportunity in between. Power consolidation. Consolidation trend is engulfing air cargo as transportation and logistics companies acquiring small freight forwarders globally. Cargo carriers don't own the end customer relationship. FedEx and UPS are exceptions as most cargo carriers rely on a powerful channel. Freight forwarders which are better positioned to own the customer relationship. Cargo carriers like UPS and DHL are pursuing a one-stop shopping strategy for the customer. For this purpose, they are buying up freight forwarders in clusters to achieve economies of scale. Various large logistics service providers are following a similar strategy. Some of the examples are as follows. 
Schneider Logistics acquired American Overseas Air Freight and International Freight Forwarder and Customs Broker. Meridian IQ, the global logistics management subsidiary of YRC Worldwide, bought Shanghai-based GPS Logistics Group in 2005. YRC launched a joint venture with Shanghai Jinjiang International Industrial Investment Company Limited, under which both YRC and Jinjiang Investment owned 50% of JIJ International. Owned 50% of JIJ International Transportation Company. The freight forwarding subsidiary of Jinjiang Investment based in Shanghai, JIJ is the second largest air freight forwarder in China. YRC invested $45 million to purchase 50% equity interest in JHJ. Deutsche Bahn AG, the parent company of Schenker, purchased Bax Global Irwin Calif in November 2005. The acquisition allows Deutsche Bahn to expand its position as an international logistics service provider in key growth markets in Asia, Pacific, China and the United States. Now I will discuss about position of Indian aviation industry. Aviation sector of India is one of the most growing sectors of the country. Entire world is showing keen interest in aviation sector of the country. Various manufacturers, businessmen, airlines, global business houses, tourism boards, individual travelers and shippers are looking towards Indian aviation players. The need of the hour is that each stakeholder must show cooperation and work collectively to deal with global business demand from Indian aviation sector. The cargo services provided by Indian airlines are also acquiring global share. Market size the passengers' strength as well as number of carriers has increased over few years. During the year 2011 to 2014, there was increase of 3.3% in movement of aircraft and 5.6% increase in passengers. In terms of aircraft movements, passengers and flights, the aviation sector is expected to grow. Aviation market will definitely improve with a number of new airlines. Indian aviation market acquired 9th place in the civil aviation market and 4th place in number of domestic clients. By 2020, the civil aviation market in the country will become the world's third largest and world's largest by 2030. Factors contributing to the growth of the aviation sector. Indian aviation industry has shown more openness, creativity and progressiveness in recent years. The main cause behind this position is as follows. Rise in income of people, rise in growth of income, introduction of cheap carriers, enhanced foreign direct investment in Indian aviation sector, rising tourists in number, increased demand of cargo services across different countries, Rising IT, influ rising IT influence, improvement in regional connectivity, long distance cargo services, supporting policies by government, new airlines to start operations. Six airlines have started operations recently. 
एयर इंडिया इंडिगो जेट एयरवेज स्पाइस जेट गो एयर एयर कॉस्टा एंड एयर एशिया इंडिया आर सेवन मेजर एयरलाइन इन इंडिया इंडो मलेशियन लो कॉस्ट कैरियर एयर एशिया इज द फर्स्ट फॉरन एयरलाइन टू सेट अप सब्सिडरी इन इंडिया विस्तारा स्टार्टेड देयर ऑपरेशन अक्रॉस द कंट्री इन द एयर टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन इट कमेंस ऑपरेशन ऑन जनवरी नाइन टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन एयर वन फ्लाई इजी प्रीमियर एयरवेज एंड एयर पैगास आर रेडी टू स्टार्ट देयर बिजनेस इन इंडिया नाउ आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट ऑपरचुनिटीज इन इंडियन एविएशन सेक्टर Indian aviation sector is offering promising opportunities in various areas enlisted as follows that is manufacturing of aircrafts infrastructure like construction of airport development of various equipments facilities of maintenance repair operations that is mro services at airport skilled and efficient manpower introduction of new air carriers will surely increase the number of flights lower prices more demand for ground staff more qualified crew including a rise in finance and leasing activities indian civil aviation is handling a huge passengers traffic and their number is surely going to increase in near future there is demand for new airlines and carriers because of rise in number of passengers indian aviation sector requires continuous research to tackle the future uncertainties the aviation sector in india is facing problems like huge tourist traffic passengers in flow and dealing with pressures like quality of service increase in frequency of flights market competition security of passengers threats of hijacks and fluctuations in prices of fuel especially rise in prices etc now i will discuss about problems faced by indian aviation industry there are numerous problems that indian aviation industry is facing in current scenario these threats and problems are making air travel out of reach of common man the rising prices of fuel are also making cargo services more costly and only a few air carriers are able to survive the losses due to uneven clientele the problems are huge but also providing a ground for enormous business opportunities the major threats of the aviation sector are slow down in economy of the world is adversely affecting indian aviation industry as people are getting less income to spend in leisure activities and their entire is getting engaged to earn their healthy livelihood also there is enormous rise in prices of fuel across the world as well as in india for air carriers terrorist activities are also acting and a threat rules for cargo and other air operations are getting complicated and they are tough to manage numerous new air carriers are joining the indian aviation sector problems faced by aviation sector are maintenance costs are getting high operational costs are also high fuel costs are also high numerous services taxes are being imposed there are numerous facilities which are lacking multiple air carriers are joining the market 
dearth of qualified manpower now i will summarize the whole module after going through the module the students might have known about different issues related to air cargo operations being performed by various airlines across the world there are different problem being faced by global aviation industry in context of cargo operations the position of indian aviation industry is in growing stage with numerous new and existing airlines there are also many problems being faced by indian aviation industry with respect to cargo operations however safety concerns are concern for both the passengers as well as the airline 